Do you hate it when someone comes into your room without knocking? I mean, who knows what they might catch you doing? Hey man, you need to do the dishwasher. Oh my gosh, what bro, are you bro? Wait, I didn't say you could come in here. Get trumpet. out! Get okay, out! Get out! Mind. If this problem plagues you, I might just have a solution. So I came up with this idea after my brother kept yelling at me over and over for coming into his room without knocking. And uh, that kind of sparked a light bulb in one of my two remaining brain cells. And I realized that's a really relatable problem. Like I feel like everyone I've ever talked to has had that problem at some point. And that's a really good reason to make a robot. So here comes the part of the video where I explain how the robot works. And usually at this part, my audience retention just takes a straight nosedive, but I don't care. I'm still gonna explain it anyway because I want to. So here's my wire diagram for the robot. It's powered by two 9 volt batteries, and the brains of the circuit is this Arduino Uno circuit board. I like your funny words, magic man. Basically, how it works is this whole machine is attached to the wall. This vibration sensor is stuck onto the door so it can sense when someone knocks. This ultrasonic sensor here will detect when the door opens and closes. These servos will attach to a Nerf gun, so that basically, if someone opens the door and then the vibration sensor detects that they did not knock, the servo motors will move, pull the triggers on the Nerf gun, and shoot the person in the face. I have all my code for the robot right here. This isn't the final code, but it's an approximation. Okay, now that I've done an overview of how everything works, we can go ahead and start with the hardware. So as you can see right here, the robot is completed. Uh, we've got our Arduino, ultrasonic sensor, vibration sensor right here, and then over on this Nerf gun, we have a servo on the handle and a servo on the other side. One of the servos pulls the rev trigger and the other one pulls the main trigger. So when I put my hand over the ultrasonic sensor, the servos should rev up and then fire the weapon. Let's try it right now. Works perfectly. Now that we've tested the prototype and everything, we can go ahead and move on to actually attaching the robot to the wall and finally using it. So, now that the robot is done, we are just going to mount it to the wall. And at first, I was a bit skeptical about how I was going to do this, because when my last robot got mounted to the wall with double-sided tape, it kind of ripped the drywall off, and I don't want to do that this time. But then, my gigantic brain remembered that command strips are a thing. So, we're just going to be using some of these command strips to attach to the wall, and hopefully, hopefully, we won't get lasting damages this time. Boom! Robot done. As you can see, I have the robot mounted on the wall here with the vibration sensor attached to the door so it can detect knocking. Here on this tripod over here, I have my Nerf gun mounted with the servos on it. And if all goes well, when the door opens, this ultrasonic sensor will detect the distance, send a signal to the servos, and blast the person in the face unless the vibration sensor detects that they knocked. You can see here, if I knock on the door, and then open it, nothing happens. However, if I open the door without knocking, the servos move, causing the gun to fire. Now that we know the robot works and it's all set up, I think it's time we test it on a real person. <laughs> Can you come in here for a second? 